Today I'm working on a transmission. Um, this one is a T5. It actually happens to be an Astro T5 uh, A5, and um, they use the uh, this just a stock main shaft from a Fox body. It's not the upgraded unit, so I'm not afraid to work on it. If I uh, screw it up, I can just replace the main shaft. I got a billion of them under the bench. Here is uh, a couple main shafts I brought the practice on. This is the one that's been re-tipped that was overheated and came apart. So this is kind of a core. Um, the speedo gear, what we're doing is we're converting from a mechanical, uh, uh, sorry, from a, a digital type to a mechanical type speedometer. Uh, on the 1999 and up Mustang uh, T5s, they switched to a, um, a digital type speedometer. And as a result, they don't use this surface anymore. This is where the mechanical speedometer rides on. Uh, it, the surface is still there, but it's not drilled. There's no hole for the speedo clip. You know, here's the what keeps the speedometer on. Is you know, it fits into there. You know, other way or actually it doesn't really matter, right? And the speedometer slips on over that. So, what we got to do is modify this shaft um, for the speedometer clip. Now, the way that the pro shops do it, where I bought parts, and some of you are not going to like this at all, but really it is what it is and like it or not um, this is what I've seen to do because I don't know if I got anything that would actually drill through this hardened steel we're gonna cut a tiny little slit in here for the clip now I'm not gonna cut all the way through I'm gonna shorten the clip too. Uh, about half of that is all that's needed just enough to clip into the groove so I'll probably clip just a bit off of the end of that so I don't have to cut into the shaft too much and I'm gonna just slice in a little groove um, I brought my spare shaft so that I can experiment before I work on this one because I really don't feel like disassembling the entire trans back down to swap a main shaft that I screwed up. So let's see how this works. I've never done this before. Jacob, uh, I'll show you my, my two helpers, Jacob and Katie. Hi, my so, daughter and hey. my friend's kid. All right, here we go. My friend. Oh. All right, so let's concentrate. I'm going to put it right about in the middle of this thing. So let's let's uh, just concentrate on me working here. There's gonna be some sparks. Don't flip out about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go right about right here. I'm wearing glasses. All right. Sparks will be going this way. that's cocking it so I'm going to do it this way here we go that way I can keep this level make sure that you're focusing on this bad as I thought it was going to be. It's pretty easy. Alright, that's all I want to do. It. Come here, focus in on here. I'll center the other one up a bit better. Uh, but the surface area on this one's a little bit bigger. So I figured if I came towards here, it would put it right about where it's supposed to be more. But it's just a little bit. Now, I did want to mention uh, that uh, I have done many, many, many of these. Well, had the transmission shop cut it for me before. And uh, never had one broken come back at you. Just don't go too deep, obviously, because uh, I believe the center of these things are hollow. So that's about all I'm going to need. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm not holding this with my fingers. I'll put some pliers on here, and then I'm going to just trim this tab just a little bit here with my cutoff wheel so that it sits inside here flush. And that's it. You're ready to put your mechanical Speedo on. Thank you for tuning in again.